All right, Salim Razai here, and I want to talk about the pre-intubation shock index. I think it's something that is underutilized and something that's really easy to do, can give us a lot of useful information prior to the intubation. So first of all, what is the shock index? It's basically heart rate divided by systolic blood pressure. Now, an easier way to remember this is that if your heart rate is greater than your systolic blood pressure, that's bad and your patient is probably in a shock state. If you wanted to be more specific, a shock index of greater than or equal to 0.9 is a strong predictor of post-intubation hypotension. This has been shown in multiple studies. It's been at least four or five, six studies that have shown this, but it's something I think we don't do enough of. Now, you've heard us talk about the adage of resuscitate before you intubate, and so I created this little acronym. So run fluids or blood, whatever is appropriate, stands for the R. Boom stick, which is for push dose pressors. And then increase pressure, which is for vasopressors run as a drip. So resuscitate before you intubate, run fluids or blood, boom stick, increase pressure. Really easy to remember. If you have a shock index of greater than or equal to 0.9, think about these three things prior to pushing your anesthetic and paralytic agents. Respect the shock index. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Until next time.